Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Willis, and this is your Macro Minute on shifting aggregate curves. There is a difference between a movement along an aggregate curve and a shift of an aggregate curve. A change in price level will cause a movement along an aggregate curve. A change in the determinants of Sig X or RAP will cause a shift of either the aggregate demand or aggregate supply curve. An increase in aggregate demand across the economy, signified by a rightward shift of the aggregate demand curve, means that consumers, firms, government, and foreign consumers demand greater quantities of economic goods at every price level. At a price of P1, a real GDP output of $200 billion is demanded. At a price of P2, a real GDP output of $100 billion is demanded. But if aggregate demand increases, the real GDP output demanded at a price of P1 increases to $300 billion. And the real GDP output demanded at a price of P2 increases to $200 billion. Notice that at every price level, the aggregate quantity demanded increased across the economy. A decrease in aggregate demand across the economy, signified by a leftward shift of the aggregate demand curve, means that consumers, firms, government, and foreign consumers demand lesser quantities of real GDP output at every price level. At a price of P1, a real GDP output of $400 billion is demanded. At a price of P2, a real GDP output of $300 billion is demanded. But if aggregate demand decreases, the real GDP output demanded at a price of P1 decreases to $300 billion, and the real GDP output demanded at a price of P2 decreases to $200 billion. Notice that aggregate quantity demanded decreased at every price level. An increase in short-run aggregate supply across the economy, signified by a rightward shift of the short-run aggregate supply curve, means that domestic firms supply greater quantities of economic goods at every price level. At a price of P1, a real GDP output of $500 billion is supplied. At a price of P2, a real GDP output of $600 billion is supplied. But if short-run aggregate supply increases, the real GDP output supplied at a price of P1 increases to $600 billion. And the real GDP output supplied at a price of P2 increases to $700 billion. Notice that the aggregate quantity supplied increased at every price level. A decrease in short-run aggregate supply across the economy, signified by a leftward shift of the short-run aggregate supply curve, means that domestic firms supply lesser quantities of economic goods at every price level. At a price of P1, a real GDP output of $400 billion is supplied. At a price of P2, a real GDP output of $500 billion is supplied. But if short-run aggregate supply decreases, the real GDP output supplied at a price of P1 decreases to $300 billion, and the real GDP output supplied at a price of P2 decreases to $400 billion. Notice that the aggregate quantity supply decreased at every price level. Thank you so much for watching. That's Shifting Aggregate Curves, and this has been your Macro Minute.